it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would make a really fun soup for back to school week. Around here, a lot of the kids are going back to school. Of course, we are empty nesters and our kids are all grown up, and my grandbaby is not quite old enough for school yet, but I love back to school season. So I thought a really fun recipe for back to school week would be a vegetable beef alphabet soup. And because everything gets really busy in back to school week, I thought this would be great to make as a crock pot recipe. So here I have the ingredients that I'll need for my soup and I'll go ahead and share that with you. I have a tray here of some beef stew meat and in a minute I'll get that chopped up and browned. I went ahead and went with shredded carrots. I love adding either um, shredded carrots or already sliced carrots or frozen crinkle cut carrots to my soup. Sometimes I chop my own too, but this definitely shortens the prep process. It's all ready to go. So I'm using shredded carrots in today's soup. I have a cup of pearl barley here that I'll add partway through cooking. I have some celery will get chopped up, an onion. I have a bag of mixed vegetables. I have some beef broth. Of course, you can use your own. You can make beef bone broth or anything like that would be wonderful. But today, for it being a quick and easy crock pot recipe, I thought I would go ahead and use some pre-made beef broth. This is a nice big container. This is one of the double size containers, 48 ounces. And then I have a can of the ready cut diced tomatoes flavored with garlic, oregano, and basil. And a can of kidney beans here that will drain and rinse. We'll add kale in at the end. Of course, for alphabet soup, you will need alphabet pasta. And for a while, I had a really hard time finding alphabet pasta, but I have had really good luck finding it in all of the different grocery stores around here. They have a, a Mexican uh, section of food, and they have a bunch of different really nice pastas. They're a little bit smaller. These are not a one pound bag. This is a seven ounce bag. So. Um, not quite half a pound, but that is just the amount we'll need. So that's where you might be able to find some alphabet pasta if you're having trouble with that. And we do not add this directly to the soup. I feel like it makes it a little bit soggy when I do that. So I cook this up separately right before I serve the soup. I cook it up and drain it and kind of have it off to the side. And we put a scoop of alphabet pasta or if I'm making another type of pasta like orzo or something like that for a soup and then we add it in to the bowl and then pour the soup over it. And that's how we'll do that. So I just thought I would mention that. And for spices, we'll use salt and pepper, of course, and some Italian seasonings here. Um, I'll add some garlic powder and probably a, a few extra uh, basil leaves here as well. So those will be our seasonings. So what I'm gonna do to start this out, like I said, is get this meat chopped up. The pieces are a little bit big. Then I'm gonna go ahead and brown this first. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. I think it adds uh, a little bit of better flavor to the soup. So I'm gonna get that chopped up and browning, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I'm getting my meat all browned up here in a skillet, a nonstick skillet. I have added a little drizzle of olive oil to the pan and I added a little salt and pepper to the meat. I decided to cook this in two batches. The meat was about um, probably like two and uh, two and a third pounds of stew meat. And again, I cut these up into slightly smaller pieces. Some of these look like they could be cut a little bit more. So I'm gonna let these brown up and then I'll cook the second batch. And then I will uh, deglaze the pan a little bit if there's any good brown bits on the bottom that will add to the soup flavor. So I'm gonna get this browned up, as well as the second batch browned up, and then we'll get that into the crock pot with the beef broth. Okay, so I've got my meat all browned up here, and I'm gonna add this to the crock pot. And there's a little bit of browning left here on the pan, which I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze real quick to add flavor to the soup. And I do that by just adding in a splash of my um, beef broth. Let that kind of bubble up a little bit on the still hot burner. Just kind of move that around. You can see how nice and dark it gets. Kind of bubbles up a little bit. Seams up the camera there a little bit. Anyway, there we go. That's all it takes. And then I'll dump this in the crock pot as well. Just like so. So we've got the beef in the crock pot. And now we're adding our entire um, container here of beef broth. 
And I have this crock pot on high. It's going to cook on high for at least six hours here. So I'm going to get the broth and the beef warming up. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut up the celery and onion. So I have my uh, celery all trimmed and cleaned. I've got my bowl of scraps here for the chickens. I'm going to go ahead and get this chopped up. So here's our celery all chopped up and ready to add to the soup. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this bowl here and get the onion chopped up as well. Here's our onion all chopped up. This was just a regular large yellow onion. We'll go ahead and add this into the bowl with the celery. And we'll go ahead and add the whole bowl of celery and onion to the crock pot here. I'm going to go ahead and use my little spatula that I used to brown the meat to kind of stir this up a bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. Okay, so I've just got my bag here of shredded carrots. This is 10 ounces of carrots. Again, you can just chop up carrots peeled and chopped, or you can use frozen crinkle cut carrots or whatever you like. But today I thought I would use shredded carrots. I think it's going to go through the broth and really add a nice flavor here. So. We'll get this all stirred up, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some water to this. So we'll go ahead and start with two cups here. And it's brought it close to the top here, but not quite. I want to save a room in here, of course, for the beans and barley and tomatoes, which I'll be adding in a little bit, um, about halfway through cooking, I like to add those. I like to give the celery and onions and carrots a chance to cook and flavor the broth throughout the day before I add the rest of the ingredients. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and add another cup of water here. So there's another cup. The trick is to not add so much water that we reduce the flavor down, but enough water to bring the volume up without having to use a ton of pre-made broth. Um, another trick you can do if it starts seeming like it's not going to be flavorful enough is to add a little bit of beef bouillon. But we will wait and see how this cooks out throughout the day to see if we need to add anything else. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper now. I just like to shake in a little bit. I always, always flavor my soups at the beginning, middle, and end of cooking. So I start with a, a basic amount, just kind of eyeing it, a little bit of salt there. Not a lot. And I'll also shake in some Italian seasonings. This is just to taste. That's about a couple of teaspoons of the Italian seasoning and just to punch up the basil flavor because we like that. I'm going to shake in just a little bit of basil as well. Not a lot, just a little bit for now. I may decide also to add in some minced garlic towards the end. Again, I will taste that, but for now I'm just going to give it a little tiny sprinkle of garlic powder here. Okay, so we'll get this all stirred up, get the lid on, and again this is on high in my crock pot here. This is a pretty big crock pot. This is probably a, at least an 8 quart. I don't think it's a 10 quart. It might be close to that though. Um, eight or 10 quart, I'm not sure. So a nice big pot there. And again, we'll cook this up for about six hours on high in my crock pot. So I'm gonna get this lid on and get it cooking and I'll come back in a little while after this has had a chance to cook and we'll add in some more ingredients. So the soup's been cooking away for a couple of hours. You can see everything's starting to be cooked in there and it's bubbling a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my bag of mixed vegetables, and I'm going to add my can of tomatoes here. This is the Italian recipe, but any diced tomato will do. This is a 14 and a half ounce can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my kidney beans. I love kidney beans and vegetable beef soup, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and drain them and rinse them. And here they are, drained and rinsed. Now I'm going to go ahead with my pearl barley and I'm also going to um, rinse this out and add this. This is a cup of pearl barley. Okay, so now I'm adding my rinsed um, barley, one cup, and I'm going to give everything a stir. You can add any vegetables to this that you like. Sometimes I've added broccoli in the past or... Um, one could, you could add uh, bell peppers or anything you like. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper, a few more shakes of Italian seasoning and just a little shake more of garlic powder. I'm gonna stir this up and let this cook for a bit longer. Then I'm gonna test the broth and see what else I'd like to add. Okay, the soup has been cooking away for quite some time now. It's about an hour away from being done. You can see the barley's puffing up there. I'm going to go ahead now. I did add one more cup of water to bring the water level up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon, kind of like a 
a little rounded, slightly rounded teaspoon of garlic here. And I'm also going to go ahead now and add some of my chopped kale. Probably just a few handfuls and it will cook down really quickly. Here's my kale added to the top. I'm just going to kind of press it down in here a bit and get the lid on and let that cook away until it's uh, cooked down a bit. And while this is cooking down, I will go ahead and cook up my alphabet pasta here so that we'll have that ready when we're ready to serve our soup. So I'm going to let this finish cooking up, get the pasta cooked up, and I'll come back and serve it up and show you what that looks like. Okay, our soup is all done and our pasta is cooked up. I've set it off to the side here in this bowl to kind of cool down a little bit. I'll make sure to toss it around so it doesn't stick together. But you can see the letters in there. And I will serve up a bowl so that we can see how it turned out. Here it is all served up. I'll zoom in here so you can see all of the letters there. Alphabet soup, absolutely perfect for back to school. I will be serving this with some sliced bread, some sliced French bread with butter. Sometimes people in the family love to top this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's also really good. You can see all of the delicious kale and veggies and beans and of course the really fun alphabet pasta. I'm gonna go ahead now and try a bite. I'll get a little bit of kale in there as well. All the yummy veggies, a little corn, and that is absolutely delicious. Um, the meat is nice and tender from cooking in the crock pot all day. All of the vegetable flavors are really good together, and I just think it's so fun to have the little alphabet pasta. I think that that is just so wonderful. And again, definitely fun for back to school. So that is my alphabet vegetable beef soup. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.